Hello friends, this video on Binomial Theorem Part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched Binomial Theorem Part 1 to Part 5. Take one binomial example, little easy. So where we have to find x plus 4 to the power 5. So when we know this formula that we have a plus b to the power n, this guy is nothing but summation of, we will start r is equal to 0 to n. We will say ncr. We can either say a to the power r, b to the power n minus r. Or we can also say the same thing as, both are true actually. So we can say ncr a to the power n minus r, b to the power r. Both are same. Actually, you say a plus b to the power n or b plus a to the power n. So both are same actually. So you say ncr and you first take a to the power r and b to the power n minus r. You keep decreasing this value, increasing this value. Or you first take a to the power n minus r, b to the power. You will take any of this. Both of these will give you the same result. We can show you also. So here let's take this one. Just want to take this. So here x plus 4 to the 5. So here n is equal to 5. So this guy becomes 5 cr a to the power 5 minus r b to the power r summation r is equal to 0 to 5. So let's do this. Let's add this from r is equal to 0 to 5. Let's put r is equal to 0. So it will become 5 c 0 a to the power 5 b to the power 0. So that's 1. 5 c 1 a to the power 4 b to the power I'm sorry x plus 4 so here uh, instead of a we have x and here instead of b we have 4 this is the formula and so we'll say 5 c 0 x to the power 5 here we'll say x to the power 4 and instead of b we'll say 4 4 to the power 1 plus here we'll say 5 c 2 x to the power 3 and 4 to the power 2 so we are increasing the value of 4 and we will say 5c3 x to the power 4 and 4 to the power 1 plus this is 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, 5c3 and this becomes 5 sorry this is 2 we need to increase the value of 4 so this becomes 3 and then this becomes 5c4 x to the power you decrease the value this becomes 1 and you increase the value of 4 4 to the power 4 plus 5c5 5, x to the power 0 is equal to 1 and 4 to the power 5 this is the formula so what we have done we have taken 5 and is equal to 5 r is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 we have increased and we replace the value so here r is equal to 0 5 minus 0 4, 5 4, 5 minus 1, 4, 5 minus 2, 3, 5 minus 3, this is 2, 5 minus 4, this is 1, and 5 minus 5, this is 0, x to the power 0. Similarly, for 4 to the power r, 4 to the power 0, 1, 4 to the power 1, 4 to the power 2, 4 to the power 3, 4 to the power 4, 4 to the power 5. So that's how we have got this. So we can solve this, 5c0 is five, 1, that is x to the power 5, 5c1 five is 5, 5 into 4 is equal to 5 into 4 x 4 plus 5 c 2 is equal to 10 10 into 4 square into 16 x cube plus 5 c 3 again is equal to 2 10 10 into 4 4 to the power 3 is equal to 64 and this becomes x square plus 5c4 is equal to 5 into 4 to the power 4. 4 to the power 16, 16 to 16 is 256. And this becomes x to the power 1 plus 5c5 again is equal to 1 into 4 to the power 5 is equal to 1024. This is the answer we have got x to the power 5 plus 20x4 plus 160x cube plus 640x squared plus 5 into 256 is equal to x to 
So this is the answer. This is the answer for x plus fourth by five. Now we have solved this problem using formula two. So this was the formula we have used. Now let's try to prove that we can do the same thing using formula one also. We'll try to do. So here, when you expand a x plus four to the power five, so we can also write this as summation r is equal to 0 to 5, 5CR. So instead of saying x5 minus r, we can say x to the power r and 4 to the power 5 minus r. That's what we have discussed. Either we can say a to the power r, b to the power n minus r, or we can say a to the power n minus r, b to the power r. So here we have taken x to the power 5 minus r and 4 to the power r. So in this case, we are taking x to the power r and 4 to the power 5 minus r. So we'll try to prove this. So if we do this, we'll say 5C0 x to the power 0 is equal to 1 and 4 to the power 5 plus 5c1 x to the power 1 into 4 to the power 4 plus 5c2 x square 4 cube plus 5c3 x 4 to the power 4 plus 5c0 4 to the power 5 so 5c1 x 4 this is 5c2 sorry this is we increase the power of x and decrease the power of 4 become x square x cube so this will become x4 5c4 x to the power 4 into 4 to the power 1 plus 5c5 into x to the power 5. So what we have done? We have increased the power of x this time, x to the power 0, x to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Decrease the power of 4, 4 to the power 5, 4 to the power 4, 4 to the power 3, 4 to the power 2, 4 to the power 1, 4 to the power 0 and 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, 5c3, 5c4, 5c5. We have used this formula. So now 5c0 is 1. And 4 to the power 5, to the power 5 is 1, 0. Similarly, 5c1 five is 5. And 4 to the power 4 is 256. And this is into x. Plus 5c2 is nothing but 10. Into 4 into 3 is equal to 4. Into 4 cube is equal to 64. x square plus 5c3 is also 10. Into 4 square is equal to 16 x cube plus 5c4 is 5 into 4x4 four plus 5c5 is equal to 1 into x5. So what you get is, I'll write these number first because we have to prove this is equal to this. So this is equal to x5, this term first, plus 5 into 4, 20, x4, plus 16 into 10, 160 x cube, plus 64 into 10, 640 x squared plus 256 into 5, 1, 2, 8, 0, x plus 1, 0, 2, 4. So if you see, both are same, exactly same. So that means we can use either of the formula. We can either first, say, we can say a to the power r b into b to the power n minus r or we can say a to the power n minus r b to the power r. So both the formula is correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free education videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.